So we're going to take a look at the first parts kit and I went ahead and put on some rubber gloves just because these things are usually pretty full of cosmoline. I also put down this EOTech banner that I use or I'm going to start using when I do parts kits reviews so I don't get the rest of everything all filthy. So it comes in a pretty heavy duty bag and uh, I've seen so many parts kits in these bags. I suspect this is probably from the D-Mill factory where they come from. I don't think I've seen these so consistently, I've got to assume that these are from the factory when they chop them up with whatever machines they use. I think they're just dropped right into these bags. Anyway, that's my guess on that. We'll take a look at the handguard here. And I'll bring the lights over so we can see what we're looking at. And Andrew knows that I'm a collector of these things. I like, to, I like the unique ones. I don't care so much if it's pristine. I'd much rather have, you know, I'm collecting these because they used to be machine guns you know, that somebody was carrying around. And uh, we can see on this one some sort of a weird thumbtack. It's all underneath the Cosmo right now, but... Um, wow, there's a lot of Cosmoline on this one. So that one's kind of neat. This one isn't too bad. It's definitely used, but it's not carved up or anything. We do have the Zuka written on the side here. Z-U-K-A. And I'm sure hundreds of people will write in to tell us what that means. Then we've got its underfolder stock, at least a portion of it. Got its carrier and bolt. And of course this one's a Yugo, so this isn't blued. We've got this barrel, which is U.S. made. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the rifling in it or not there. That helps. But anyway, this is a U.S. barrel. It's all ready to go for the most part. Threaded on the end. Got a nice crown. Got that Yugo distinctive pistol grip. This must be the Yugo staple that comes with it from Yugoslavia. We've got the uh, dust cover. Smooth. It's full of Cosmoline, the reason I'm wearing gloves. And you can see the cutouts in the back here. Because the Yugos have their grenade launcher kind of built in, uh, they kind of lock differently. They have that push-button lock in the receiver. So these are the major parts. It looks like everything else is in this small parts bag. So let's dig into that. And it's held together with uh, two staples. And these are fairly heavy bags. We've got the gas block and bayonet lug up front. And of course, being the Yugo, it's got the uh, grenade sight and cut off. So as the grenade sight goes up into the up position like it is now, it cuts off the gas. And then uh, when you bring it down into the closed position, that lets this fall out. But more importantly, it uh, shuts the, turns the gas back on. And then of course it's bayonet lug, which is one of the most important parts of an AK. Next we got the uh, front trunnion. Front sight block, really. Which goes around where the barrel goes in there. Got the front sight post with the uh, sight front sight still in it, heavily coated in Cosmoline. It's got its flip up uh, sight here. If I can get it to flip up. Um, normally it would just kind of flip up on its own, but with all this Cosmoline it's sort of glued in. So you can see it sort of flips up. It would flip up into place and there's a white dot of uh, glow-in-the-dark stuff there so that uh, when you flip up that night sight you can see it a little easier in the dark. Next up we got the safety with the extra notch in the rear there. Got the trigger guard. It's in great shape. Looks like it was demilled with care. There's no scrapes or anything. It's in great shape. And then we've got uh, 
spring still in the uh, mag catch. Got the, I guess, in the plate from underneath the hand. The, I'm thinking this is the plate underneath the. No, it can't be that. I have no idea what this is. Not an AK part I'm familiar with. Part of the uh, stock. Got a double hook trigger. Can't use this for lots of reasons. Got a lot of pins. We've got the uh, plate that goes under the uh, front of the trigger guard. We got a piece of metal for what this is for the front of the, or this is for the rear of the hand guards. So it fits on back here. We got a similar piece for up front. And it's got its, uh, lever in place which is what's going to hold it on to the uh, barrel. we got the front slant brake with a couple of pins jammed inside of it. A couple of, it looks like this one of the springs and a pin jammed in front of that front brake. I don't know if I'm going to go through every part here because it's all the parts of the uh, um, stock. This looks like, these must be, this is the feed ramp from the receivers. Well, we got a lot of the uh, small parts from both inside and the, uh, the stock. And they're just so messy and tedious and small, I'm not going to do a full inventory of all of those. But we got a pretty nice uh, selection of parts here from this um, uh, Yugo M70 parts kit. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.